So today I'm going to tell you about how I spent my $10,000 Christmas bonus and sort of why I do the things that I do when it comes to bonuses and, you know, what I would advise, not a financial advisor, <laughs> uh, you know, disclaimer, but what I advise some people to do and why I would, you know, when you get these additional amounts of money that are not a part of your your base salary that you do certain things with them so that you can get ahead in life. I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. Dev Mountain has various programs from iOS development to UI UX, full stack web development, and quality assurance. I actually had the pleasure of visiting one of their campuses about two years ago in Provo when they still had a location there. And it was a fantastic experience just to be able to meet everybody, see the campus. And it, one thing that's unique about them is they actually include housing with their tuition. So if you're interested, check the link in the description below. Okay, so I should clarify, cause just because it's kind of a fun, funny story, but I do it does for me fall into the category of bonus. So um, before I go any further, I do not encourage anyone to gamble. I do not encourage that. And in fact, it's um, there's two big things that I that I uh, two big uh, items that I suffer with at times: caffeine, and then I gamble about once every six months. I'll go to the casino or something like that, um, and. Uh, you know, with money that I can afford to lose, uh, you know, always, if you are going to gamble, don't use <laughs> your rent money or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so um, on a side note, uh, <laughs> well, I guess that was a side note. But yeah, so um, when we were uh, doing a white elephant Christmas party, uh, where it was about $25, I bought a bunch of scratchers, some $2 ones, some $1 ones. And um, I bought that as like $25 of scratchers as someone could get that as a gift, right? A little, little fun gift, nothing crazy. Uh, but uh, while we were there, I was like, oh, you know, it'd be kind of fun if I bought April and I two $5 ones, right? We'll get these holiday edition $5 scratchers and we'll, um, we'll scratch them on like Christmas Eve or Christmas. And I bought it for like two, three weeks ahead of time. I was like, cool, we'll do it. And so Christmas Eve comes around, um, we're scratching them. I don't win anything. She's scratching hers and she's like, we just won $10,000. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, really? And I look at it. Sure enough, we won 10 grand on a scratcher, uh, a $5 scratcher. Never in my life to, have I heard anyone make winning any sort of relevant amount of money. And it's a, it's a good amount of money, right? So to, to us, it's essentially um, one full month of work, right? So it's a two paychecks for me. So it's quite, you know, that's quite a bit of money. Um, but uh, to me, it falls into the bonus category. And so anytime I get a bonus from work, anytime I get a, um, you know, anytime we get a bonus, profit sharing, um, anything that goes, that's outside my normal income. So same thing with YouTube, to be honest, um, and like uh, passive income streams. The way that I treat bonuses and the mentality of it is that... I don't live off of them. And what I mean by that is I use them as opportunities to get ahead. So a lot of my colleagues in the past and um, coworkers and things like that, when they get bonuses, they think about what they're going to buy themselves. Um, not once have I done that. And I haven't had that many bonuses, but there have been times where I've had poker winnings, for instance, that has been in the, the low thousands. And instead of, you know, I might take two, three hundred dollars of that to treat April, and then ninety-five percent of it goes into the mortgage. Ninety-five <laughs> percent of it goes into investments. Ninety-five percent of it goes into savings and retirement. And I do that so that the these lumps of money that you know that come occasionally because. The reason it falls into bonuses, how I classify bonuses in my life, is that they're 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 not necessarily guaranteed. Not that your paycheck's guaranteed, but um, they're irregular amounts of money that come into your life that you can spend on something that's going to have a be a depreciating asset, or you can um, take this money and invest it, right? And have it have a lasting effect so that 
you can start planning for your future. And that's how I do it. And, it, and it's not the easiest thing in the world to go and to go and um, do something like that. It's it's uh, something that takes a little bit of discipline where you're like, I'm going to forego immediate satisfaction for future satisfaction, future stability, and future um, financial confidence. That's That's what you have to aim for. And that's what I encourage a lot of you to do. That's why I also try and live below my means, although I live very comfortably. Um, I have a house with uh, about four more rooms than I need. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, in terms of what I can afford, it, it still allows me to save about 40% of my income. And um, maybe in some months a little bit more if you count in passive income streams and stuff like that. So like another thing I don't do is I don't live off of my passive income. So the money that I make from YouTube, building courses, things like that, I throw it at the mortgage. I throw it at stocks and bonds, at ETFs. Um, I don't invest in bonds, but ETFs and stocks and um, generally throw it into savings. That's been my game plan with it um, for pretty much the entire last three years. Um, there's a point in time where I just started my YouTube channel and I was starving in california and i used that money um i although i would have preferred not to <laughs> but what am i so what am i spending this bonus on just to give you an idea right so um <laughs> if you so here I'll, I'll tell you this full the full thing of how this all broke down april and i actually went to the lottery office on the um today's the 26th so we went to the of december so the day after christmas we go down to the tampa florida lottery office and um, basically, um, I'm in the car with the dogs for two hours. It was a very long ordeal. We got there right when they opened. Um, for two hours, she's in line going to um, get a check, essentially. So she gets a check. Off the top, $2,400 for taxes, for um, federal income taxes. So you get a check, actually, for on $10,000 of winnings, you get a check for about $7,600. Um, with that 7,600, what am I doing with it? Well, we have some, f we have a potential move coming in the future. And because of that, there's a little bit more instability. So I always, you know, most people will tell you to have a three to six month safety net. We're beefing that up a little bit. So we're more on the three end mark. So we're throwing about 3000 more dollars into there just to beef it up a little bit. About half of it, more or less is going into there. The other half will be going into ETFs, things that, um, you know, a conglomerate of S&P 500 ETFs and of um, dividend yielding, div dividend appreciation ETFs. Um, and that's it. Forget about it. It's not super sexy, not super fun, um, but probably super boring and super boring usually works when it comes to your financial future, right? There's other things you can do and spend it on. Um, you know, we have uh, wanted a new car for a while, but we don't need one. And a lot of times, if you're not careful, you feel like you've earned a bonus. You've done this, you've done that. And bonuses are not guaranteed. That's why when I'm negotiating my salary, I don't care about the bonuses. Because it's, I promise you, the first thing that gets slapped down when... Um, your workplace is struggling or, um, you know, for whatever reason, they're unhappy with your team or you is your bonus. So <laughs> you always have to assume it's like very much like gambling that you go with money you expect to lose or you expect rather not to have because that's where your bonus categories fall into. And you should treat it as such. And if you're lucky enough to get them, my personal opinion is don't go and waste it. Go and put it so that go and take because in this case, for me, it's probably two and a half months. It'd probably be five paychecks of money I would save up consistently. Maybe a little less. It's like four to four and a half paychecks of money I save in one lump sum. So instead, let's fast track our saving. Let's give us a bigger safety net. Let's go and invest for our future so that it can help doing it. Because these things compound, right? So you take you take your bonuses and then they just compound on top of things where now your bonuses are going there and you're keeping your cost of living down instead of going and buying something you don't need and that you, you know, and if you need something and you're counting on a bonus to pay for it, that's unfortunate. And maybe you should try and figure out how to, um, 
lower your cost of living, which isn't always the case. And it, I, I may, it may be coming from, and some people may get upset by me by saying that because, you know, I don't know your situation, but I, I'm assuming you're a software engineer in, in America, if you're watching this video. And generally speaking, you make more than the average family. And, you know, there's, there's thing, everyone's life is different. Everyone has different costs and expenses. And, uh, you know, obviously I've spent a good portion of time eliminating debt and items like that. But, um, my, the, my, my concern is not to judge why you're doing it, but to open up a thought process of what if this bonus didn't come, what was I going to do? And that's a scary thing. And I want you to be scared. I want you to understand that and maybe try and figure out how not to be reliant on something that isn't reliable. So with all that being said, I thought it was a little, um, little funny video, <laughs> something to talk about, um, Christmas video, um, that really is relevant in the uh, software industry. Maybe your first couple of jobs, you're not going to have bonuses or profit sharing or, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but Generally speaking, as your career progresses, you'll get something that falls in that line where additional money not guaranteed comes your way uh, once a year or quarterly or something. Dude, I've, I've even, I have a couple of buddies who get paid monthly after the first year, which is savage. I love everything about that. Um, but keep it in mind, keep in mind, um, be very, be very thoughtful about what you do with your money. Again, not a financial advisor, but, um, be strategic, not only in your careers, but in your finances, because I mean, at the end of the day, I work a job because I, I'm planning for my financial future. And, um, there's a lot of things I'm passionate in. Software is definitely one of them, but, uh, software for somebody else versus software for myself. is two different things. Uh, but, uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching links are in the description below so that you can help me pay my mortgage off earlier, I guess. Worked very hard on those. Uh, links to the uh, courses, I should say. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Hashtag road to 100K. We're trying to get to that, get to that magic number. I want that silver play button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.